UFC Heavyweight Division Collision. as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. All right, so here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov. His future in all likelihood is in the UFC Hall of Fame, but his present is this fight right now, once again taking on a fellow top 10, 155 pound fight. And when you've done everything that Khabib has done, that's all you see is the best the business has to offer. Yeah. And after the McGregor fight, his star shined more brightly than he ever could have imagined. I know how humble Khabib is. I know how much he loves to live in uh, privacy. Right. I understand that. But when you beat a Conor McGregor in the way that he did, he became an international icon. And it shows as you watch him in his pursuits of, of just opportunities and everything. But nothing is available to Habib if he does not take care of right. business in this octagon. And every time he steps foot there, he does exactly that. One of the most dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. Going into that Conor McGregor fight, UFC 229, October of 2018, had about 4 million Instagram followers. Yes. How about 15 million? You got some catching up. I mean, the next day, he was up to 10. It was unbelievable. That's what happens when you fight Conor McGregor and you beat him. Most lightweight say, top to bottom, the toughest matchup for them in this division is Khabib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's who does he first? Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Kansas City, Missouri, USA, Bam Bam. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, only professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Imago Meda. All right, grip the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come out your corners, come out fighting. So here we go with round one, and when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, it doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plan seems to They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most of the time? Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to rotate that finish down now. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land a beautiful ground combination. Huge 
huge block there. Nice punch back on the top. And both guys really throwing with authority. Yeah, he fixed it all up. Try to establish that jab. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Three minutes and counting to go here in round one. And potentially a critical takedown here. Got the single collar tie. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back in range. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch with the clinch. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Oh, he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. And they separate. Oh, collar tie. Nurmago Medov gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. Straight right hand, no good. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. So fire. Oh, now with the judo throw. He ends up in side control. A lot of options for him here. Yank me with Brown and Paul for he can chase the mission. Oh! Back to the feet. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over. Oh, big knee there. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? All right, here we go with round two. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his leg. That's huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed upright. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta calls a stop to this contest at one minute, 24 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar, Rabim the Eagle Nevada. All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened. I mean, you know. This